I mean, this is as good as it gets. It is a bit difficult lineup. I mean, as far as finding those absolutely perfect bombs in six wave sets, but you know what? It is a great day of competition. I'm glad we got started nice and early. Back out into the lineup now. P3 of round three is really going to get started now with Ezekiel Lau from Hawaii opening up with a beautiful, nice rounded carve. Just a little dance there. Gets knocked up on one foot but recovers well. Again, goes to that same move. This wave has a, a big sidewinding wash going through it, making it very difficult to surf. And Zeke loses contact. He looked so short-footed yesterday, a little wobbly on that rod, but the condition's playing a part. Get off balance as we take a look here. You know, good wave choice it felt like. You know, only the one wave set, and this was it. And here you can see there is some bump that comes across the face of these waves, and that was what put him off balance. You know, this is a great opportunity here, and it felt like it was a great section, but the big roundhouse, and then now carrying a ton of speed into this section, and this was the money section. That was nice and steep, but that rib moved across the face right when he was in the middle of the maneuver, and that's what put him down. As you take a look now, even with the, the water angle, you see those swells, like two-foot swells coming across the face, and there it was. He was able to steer through that one. It almost put him in a good spot right here, but again, that rib moved through right when he was doing the maneuver. And let's take a look at what went wrong here. Again, look at the section from this angle. But there is that rib right in the face. It almost steepens. And then what's going to happen is it's going to fold away and flatten out. That's where you see right there that rib right at the exact same time as he's doing the turn. Puts him off balance and he goes down. Really an unfortunate error there because uh, that could have been nice to be able to put the pressure right onto Owen Wright. Rather than taking all that time and getting down the line and only receiving a five. Well, he sees something he likes here and starts off with a big hit right in the pocket. Driving down the line, bashes once again. Disappearing for a moment as he rode out of that turn. A good indication of just how tight in the pocket he surfs. And this wave has a nice big section for him to finish on. Still looking for more down the line, just gets a little hung up in the white water there. He'll go down, 24 minutes to go. And Owen is about to drop the biggest number of this heat. And the turn he does, a beautiful arc. Take a look here, and it's right off the gate, right out of it. It goes straight up, connects with it, off the bottom again, times it, straight in the hook. That one there, beautiful. Two in a row, and a third. Had to turn underneath it as this next section sets up. But look, again, right in the steepest part of the wave, three falls down, three solid turns. Even though I didn't make it, I feel like this number is going to be a big number, just because of how strong those maneuvers were. I mean, take a look here. It's a good size set wave, but there, just so steep in the face. Somehow hangs on on that last maneuver. Nice work there for Owen Wright. But just look, look at how perfectly placed that vertical approach. When that nose is going straight up, and that's where the backhanders have the advantage because they're able to go straight up into that section. Forehand, you're not going to be able to have that ability. The one thing about the forehand is you're able to kind of dry out your turns, whereas on the backhand, you make these really tight arcs. So a little point of difference, but look at that. Just straight up into it. Three falls down, no worries. Three big turns, and there's that big number. Little different conditions, not as big. You see Wiggly, he's gonna have that same, so backside against front side. You know, Wiggly's gonna be in that tighter pocket, but his maneuvers were just, uh, you know, kind of similar each and every time. And uh, that's where I feel like the point of difference for me, for Zeke, was that he was able to kind of mix it up and show us a little different look from the forehand. Definitely. And I guess the, the big thing for, for Zeke is this was a pretty close heat with Wiggly. And, and in my opinion, uh, Owen has everything that Wiggly does and more. So uh, Zeke's going to have to ramp things up again, despite the fact he surfed so well yesterday. I, I just love surfers that once they, they decide to turn that board over, they do it with purpose. And, yeah, absolutely. And you know, Zeke's one of those strong surfers that will do that. I mean, it's 110% each and every maneuver. You know, and he's trying to carry as much speed as he possibly can into those maneuvers. Fun heat to watch yesterday in this matchup. And of course, it's happening once again today in, in bigger conditions, Owen against Zeke. Love and watching this rookie class in their first roll through the schedule. You know, Jeffrey's Bay is such a difficult wave to get dialed in. And Zeke 
just had a monster hate for Taro yesterday. He did. Again, he's just watching this over again. He just sees so much variety. Everything he did was so much uh, different each and every maneuver on one wave. So you got to, you know, it's, that's the criteria. You got to show variety. Did those huge calves, so really well rewarded by the judges. And out the back, we have a massive set with Zeke up. Well, let's see what the rookie can do. Trying to get himself back in this heat. Paces himself through this first section. Now just standing back on that tail. Letting the wave dictate what move he's going to go for. Put some pressure on the back foot. Skips for a moment. Recovers well, though. And through to the inside with a massive hook. And sets up this barrel. Driving through the tube. And he's going to whip through another clean arc there. Perfect conditions here at Jeffreys Bay. As Lau finds more coverage on the inside before kicking out in that morning light. But look uh, on the outside. Owen Wright on wave number two. Much bigger wave. Beautiful car. Roundhouse cutback to set this wave up. See how smooth he is? You know, he's not having any troubles dealing with the bigger size wave. And look at that turn. Just figure eights all the way up the face. Perfectly timed. Another big section. And that barrel right there, I mean, talk about trying to show variety on the back end. He has just done that. And look at this set wave. He's <laughs> just beautiful stuff. I mean, he, he looked so easy at it. Like, it just was at ease. And the thing about laying off the bottom, you're oh. able to do with the uh, mid face is to be able to go vertical like that. And he perfectly times that section as he sets up the next one here. And look, he's laying off the bottom. His eyes are down the line as he sets up this barrel. Just a little snap under the lip. Perfectly placed in a big open hole. As he comes up underneath it again, this wave starts to run off without him, but he had already done three massive turns and a barrel. Nice work for Owen. Good morning, Strata Wasilewski. How did it look from out there in the lineup? Oh, you see it right there on the replay. The wave just was coming down the line. He was holding a line up into the lip to start it out. You know, he, he really found a beautiful bomb. You know, he got a nice sweep there, comes around the corner, and this inside section, just race tracking, just so beautiful. Up into the bowl again, big snap right there, turns it right back in underneath the white water. Just beautiful surfing. I mean, these waves are so perfect. It's just unbelievable. Just gouging off the top right there. Look at all these, just perfect little tube time on the inside. No, he comes to the inside again, just looks at everybody on after this. He's just having so much fun out there. It's just the unbelievable perfection as these waves grind through the inside that light. Right there, he looked back at the beach, and he just had this grin on his face kicking out. And then this Sorry, wave. No, I mean, look at this set. It's just so gorgeous. Absolutely perfect waves coming through out here at J-Bay. It really is. It's like a, like a dream come true. <laughs> it is. Zeke, though, Pete, uh, despite the fact he recovered so well on that wave and let go of some really quality maneuvers on the inside and found that barrel. It could change the outcome. Take a look again to see him off the bottom, but then that last second, he's able to just rip the heels in and go straight up. And then look at this again, off the bottom, no double pumping bottom turns. I love that. And then the execution right in the peak of the, it's like, it's like peak action. You want to do it at the climax of the steepest part of the wave. Um, you want to have it be a really high impact maneuver and really just showcase it. It's like the spotlight's there, but that one too, I mean, that's the nine point ride. That last section was a meaty section. That wasn't easy to do, and he made it look really easy. Time ticking by, and Zeke Lau knows that he needs two rides, so he goes on this one and swings hard on that first section, swinging the tail right around a second time now, but this wave it's one of those ones that's kind of bending out the sea. It's not sticking to that inside sandbar the way he wants, so he kicks out. What a shame, because it was such a quality start. And Zeke Lau's going to get a wave here. Owen's going to use his priority, trying to drop a 7.83. It's really rub some salt in the wounds here. A medium-sized wave. Starting to line up nicely through to the inside. Oh, and you can see a little busier now on this wave. It has a, a quicker pace to it. Doesn't look like that one will go into his top two, but 
He's been on today, four waves. It's probably one of the more challenging days because of uh, trying to find that high quality wave and just get yourself big, big numbers. He was a world title contender in 2015. He missed the opportunity. 2017, he's jumped straight back into the mix and he is through to round four here at J-Bay with a heat score total of 16.83.